Apple just launched Creator Studio, its very own creative suite, trying to compete with the Adobe Creative Suite or even Microsoft's 365 with tools bundled into one subscription plan. And mind you, this subscription does seem quite affordable as well. Let's take a look at what they're offering and what they have in this creative suite for designers, for creatives, for professionals. All right, so Creator Studio will be available from January 28th, which is the launch date. And if you go down, you will see 10 essential applications. Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro are for video editing. Pixelmator Pro, which is also included, is their photo editing application, somewhat similar to, I would say, Lightroom, but with a few Adobe Photoshop effects as well. The interface is rather very simple. Layers, effects, masks, support for raw photos, and even video retouching if you wanna sort of retouch or color correct some videos as well. They also have a lot of AI tools built into tools like Pixelmator, you know, removing objects, and intelligent masking and stuff like that, which comes with the suite as well. Keynote pages and numbers is where it becomes a little interesting because these are Office-like, Microsoft Office-like applications with a lot of the essential features and support for importing Excel and other formats into it and then editing it later on, exporting in different formats as well. Just like the previous tools, AI features are now also in tools like Keynote, where with prompting and AI images, slideshows and presentations without having to do everything manually as well. It's sort of like Figma's AI tools when it comes to creating presentations. Freeform, if you guys don't know, is sort of like the Fig Jam alternative or a Miro alternative, like a whiteboarding tool for all kinds of platforms. So it's available on your iPhones, iPads, and desktop. Motion is what I was most impressed in because this is more of an After Effects competitor, the motion tool, with things like motion tracking, GFX, so basically adding visual effects or graphical effects to videos, even adding 3D objects with 3D models and you know animating those 3D models neon filters. So there are a few advantages of Apple Creator Studio and a few big disadvantages. So hear me out. Apple Creative Studio is great for people who are already utilizing some of their tools like Final Cut Pro or their motion graphics tool. And they want to expand it with one subscription so that they can get all the tools with AI features included. I think it's a great deal. The pricing is not only competitive, it's also less than a lot of the competitors. The only one that beats this right now is Affinity because it's absolutely free. The quality of these tools is at par with a lot of the other tools that are available out there. It's what you would expect from an Apple software. Apart from that, it does limit you to the Apple ecosystem. None of these tools are available for Windows or Linux. If you use any other operating system, whether it's tablet, laptop, or desktop, you won't be able to get these tools working on your other devices, which can be a huge negative in case you want to shift to another operating system in the future, or you want to switch devices. I mean, they're literally giving a three-month free subscription if you buy a new Apple device. Another great advantage of this tool set is the subscription and the ease of walking out of the subscription. Adobe locks you in into the subscription, and if you want to leave the subscription, you essentially have to give a fine for leaving the subscription. So let me know in the comments below. Is this a good alternative to Adobe Creative Suite or even Affinity? Is this a good package for professionals and people who are not into say UI design or UX design, they can use other creative tools out there. Let me know in the comments. For two videos every single week, just like this, around design, UX design, tips, tutorials, and more, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. If you like the video, if you didn't like the, the tools, but like the video, still hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.